So this is a guide on obtaining source mod for a CSGO server. This is going to be for Linux, but if you're on Windows, it will be basically the exact same process. So I'm going to start out by clicking Linux right here, and that will download source mod. If you're on Windows, you can click Windows, and it will download the Windows version for you. Next up is MetaMod. So I'm on Linux. I'm going to click Linux. If you're on Windows, you can click that, and it will download that for you. So you can drag these somewhere because now we're going to put them inside the server. So go to wherever your server is installed, open the CSGO directory, and for installing source mod, you just drag these two files right into here. And once that is finished, open MetaMod and do the exact same thing. You can just drag that right into here. Once that has finished, source mod is technically installed on your server. Ideally, hopefully it's working, but one way to make sure is by making sure yourself an admin so you can actually use the commands that come along with it. So for that, go to add-ons, source mod, configs, and there's two files in here, admins.cfg and admin simple. I'm going to be working with admin simple in this case. So you can highlight this line right here and paste it, get rid of these two lines, and in here is where you're going to want to put your Steam ID. I'll put this below, there's a link that'll take you to this site, and basically just put your Steam page URL in here, and it'll pop up with a few IDs. For this case, I'm going to use just the normal Steam ID, and in your admin, simple.ini, you can paste your Steam ID right here, and if you want full documentation on the permission, I'll try to find a link for you, but basically this should give you everything in the server, and once you've done that, you can save that and that is technically everything you need to do so upon loading into your server you can join any team and in the chat you can type in exclamation point admin a menu should pop up right here and you know as long as you can do anything to anybody you know that it's working and from here on is where you can go install more plugins and various other things like that so hopefully this helped you guys out and if you want me to do any other guides just let me know and i'll try to get it out as soon as possible see you guys later